السلام علیکم آئی ایم ڈاکٹر محمد عطیق الرحمن اسسٹنٹ پروفیسر آف ڈرماٹولوجی بشندر آدین میڈیکل کالیج ٹوڈیز لیکچر از اونائکو مائکوسس دیٹ از فنگل انفیکشن آف دا نیل وی نو اونائکو مائکوسس اندر نیم از ٹینیا انگوام دیٹ مینز فنگل انفیکشن آف دا نیل and it is caused by several organisms that is fungus mostly trichophyton rub rum also there is candida infection or trichophyton other species mycosporium etc aspergillus etc but Mostly the organism involved in onychomycosis that is trichophytum rabram. And what are the types of onychomycosis? Basically four types of onychomycosis that is most, most common is distal subangual onychomycosis. Distal subangual onychomycosis. And another one is white superficial onychomycosis. Number third one is proximal subangual onychomycosis. And lastly, there is candidal onychomycosis. Mostly, the distal onychomycosis is the most common. Around 75 percent of all onychomycosis are distal onychomycosis, subangual onychomycosis. It is caused by trichophyton. Rabram, the most common pathogen in onychomycosis. It starts the distal part of the nail plate and proximally it is spread. There is stick or whitish channel within the nail plate and also involve the hyponychium that is under surface of the nail plate, cuticle. And it is produced the gradually it involves the all of the nail plate and produce hyperkeratosis, whitening or creamy discoloration of the nail plate. Sometimes it is produced brittleness or easily fragile of the nail plate. And second number is white superficial onychomycosis. In this type, there is white sticks within the nail plate. There may be creamy discoloration of the nail plate. And it produce just above the nail plate a white or a sticky marking. And proximal subangual onychomycosis involves the nail fold and, and spread the nail plate later on. And last one is candidal onychomycosis. It caused by candida infection and it produces whitish hyperkeratosis of the nail plate. And what are the diagnosis? How can we diagnose the onychomycosis? In case of diagnosis, Firstly, clinical diagnosis is first, then it, there is suspected cases, we collect the nail clipping for fungal infection. And last one is culture of the nail matrix or nail material, nail material in, in the specific agar media. Rarely we have done the histopathology with pus stain to identify the causative organism. Management, in case of management, you should remember that most of the nail infection is asymptomatic and the patient is immunocompetent, then no treatment is needed. It depends upon whether it, the immunocompromised state of the patient 
patient if the patient is diabetic or patient in renal failure or uh, or uh, cancer chemotherapy or any other immunocompromised condition and patient eager to t uh, take the treatment and the uh, the doctor decide the cost effective of the treatment and we can and patient is symptomatic then we can prescribe oral oral terbinafine 200 mg per day in case of fingernail it is 6 to 8 weeks and in case of toenail it is 12 to 14 weeks and the most of the studies reveals the cure rate in case of terbinafine is the around 65 percent 60 to 65 percent cure rate in case of onychomycosis. So, the conclusion is if the patient is symptomatic and patient eager to take the treatment and the cost effective benefit is measured then we can proceed to treat the onychomycosis. Otherwise, asymptomatic patient and immunocompetent patient does not need to treat the onychomycosis. Other option may be tropical psychopyros olamin amylorphine, tropical amylorphine may produce cure rate in case of more than 80 percent case and uh, tropical clotrimazole lotion may use pro providin iodine 10 percent solution may used along with oral glycophalvin or fluconazole or any other antifungal systemic drugs and what are the complication of uh, onychomycosis practically there is no severe complication very rarely there may be cellulitis or associated tinea pedis may or erosive interdigitalis blastomycetica that is another type of tinea pedis involved along with the onychomycosis. What are the differential diagnosis? Maybe the differential diagnosis uh, of onychomycosis may be tinea pedis or contact dermatitis or psoriasis or lichen planus of the nail. Psoriasis of the nail or lichen planus of the nail may produce similar features like onychomycosis. But you should remember that the characteristic feature of the onychomycosis such as hyperkeratosis, white sticky appearance, creamy appearance, discoloration of the uh, nail plate or brittleness of the nail plate and there is subangual hyperkeratosis with nail fold involvement usually in the onychomycosis not the nail psoriasis. In case of nail psoriasis there is spitting within the nail and there is in in case of lichen planus there is sticks sticks that is um, uh, longitudinal sticks that is uh, involved the nail plate along with matrix in case of lichen nail lichen planus so you differentiate the uh, point of nail psoriasis or nail lichen planus from the onychomycosis. So, I repeat the lesson. First one is onychomycosis is the nail infection, nail fungal infection that is tinea anguam, another name is onychomycosis. Basically, this is four types, distal subangual, onychomycosis white superficial type, proximal subangual and candidal onychomycosis and it is diagnosed by clipping of the nail materials and potassium hydroxide solution and microscopy. Then we examine the fungal is hyphae or 
uh, a spore in the, within the nail materials or there is, is a culture in a specific media or histopathology lastly with nail matrix biopsy and it is diagnosed this way and management is immunocompetent person there is no management needed if it is immunosuppressed and patient eager to treat there is diabetic or immunosuppression and patient is symptomatic then we will prescribe oral terbinafine 200 milligram per day for 6 to 8 weeks is toenail and fingernail the, it is 12 to 18 weeks thank you all